Hello, this is Victor Campos, your instructor for e-commerce with WordPress. I'm going to walk you through setting up your environment for using WordPress on your own computer. So first we'll go to the web, open up your favorite web browser, and go to the address listed here, wampserver.com. W-A-M-P-S-E-R-V-E-R.com. This is the software we're going to use, WAMP Server. Now, when you first come to the site, you might be confused that it's in French. Well, don't worry, at the top right, we can switch to English. So once we're here, WAMP Server, a Windows web development environment. And this will basically install a sort of web server on your home computer so that you can run WordPress, so that then you could run an e-commerce site. So it's a free download. There's various versions of it. We'll just go with the last one listed, which in this case is 2.4, WAMP Server 2.4. It lets you know that you might need extra software if it doesn't work directly, but give it a try first by clicking the first item, you can download it directly. It's then going to take a moment, the download should start. And it's going to take a moment to download. So that's step one, download the software. We're going to use this software to uh, build our WordPress on top of this software and uh, if you don't know WordPress is a very popular it's open source uh, it's software that um, you can build a blog website a full featured website an e-commerce website it's free and normally WordPress runs on a on a server you have to buy the server you have to go to godaddy.com or some other company but for the purposes of this class, we can do it from our home computer. Now, the websites we're going to create here will not be accessible uh, by anyone else, just on your own home testing environment. So we've downloaded it. I'm going to choose to run it, to install it. So it's telling me what's about to happen. I'm about to install WAMP server. Good. I'll do next. Accept the agreement. The default installation location is fine on your hard drive, drive C in a folder called WAMP. It'll take, it says, at least 298 megabytes. And if you want, you can create a desktop icon to access the software and install. Depending on your computer, it might take a moment or it might take a while so mine's going along pretty well so once we've got all of this set up we'll be able to run a web server off of our home computer and that way we'll be able to use WordPress and all of the capabilities and you should either check if you have your own um, domain and hosting already you should check with them what they offer you for uh, WordPress installation. Pretty much every uh, domain and hosting provider nowadays gives you a one-click installation because you are paying either a monthly or a yearly fee for that. So check with your provider. Okay, then it asks, please it's going to automatically load Internet Explorer or you can choose whichever you want so I'll say fine you may get a pop-up about a security alert for your firewall uh, these defaults here are fine so allow access and then it asks <clears throat> for a little bit of information about your particular mail parameters just leave these defaults as well this is not going to be a full featured 
server, so you're fine. And then you can launch. Finish. If you get any pop-ups, let them happen. And what you what you should notice after you've selected to do that in your taskbar, your your area down here where we have these various notifications, we should see first it was a red W that it was loading up, then it was yellow, and then it should become green. So green is what we want. Even if it says server offline, we should be okay. To test if this works, go back to your web browser and go to the address. It's going to be one of these two. First try HTTP colon localhost. One word. That's it, localhost. And we should get this web server configuration. If you see this screen, it worked. If it doesn't work, try this address instead. 127.0.0.1 both should show you the same thing. In either case, I've got WAMP server configured, and that's the core piece of software that I need to have installed in order to use WordPress. So stay tuned for the next video to next install WordPress.